There you go, you go to number three. Right, that's why it's a bit of John Hogg Greaves. Um, sorry I've not made that about YouTube in a couple of days, but I've been fucking dying and quite a bug trying to shake it. We man's the same, not me. Trying to shake this bug. Anyway, let's talk to John Hargreaves. John Hargreaves was a spud sting, and he was a first conviction. He got 18 months in prison. 10 years sex offenders register and they had to do classes before they got to jail. So, I'm still building the team at this time, right? This is before Dawson and Big Bobby and Carl and fucking all the Marsons in the world and that, right? Still building the team. I turn up to meet my security and it turns out to be two wee lasses five feet tall and Jamie Jamie you know your sound bro right but um I was thinking to myself well this current six foot three probably about 17 18 stone and this is my backup I mean luckily we walked up to Buchanan Street to get him and Kelly F was there, another new member of the team, this was her first thing with me, but she stayed with me for a long time and only left for personal reasons, not I mean like life problems, like life issues. Um, what a thing. Right, so, we're actually on the uh, text to this cunt, right, saying to him, he doesn't want to commit no more, right? He wants to basically, for the 12 year old and the 13 year old last to get in the back of the seat with him and for him to be able to do things to these two lasses in the back seat of his motor. But we can't approach that motor or we will be put up in the air, like what happened to us twice after that, right? So I devised a solution. Tell them that we're getting bullied off two asses and, and we, uh, we went and hid in the toilet. So we type in that we're hiding in the toilet, two wee asses are outside, I think we're going to batter us. Could you come in and get us out? Big John, Big Bull John strolls past me. I'm like, right, you need to get there. I look up at the two members, they're up at the toilet and I nod my head and they nod back. We, we know we've got a guy. I'm waiting on security, I'm kind of warm up, but I'm kind of waiting on security approaching at the same time. They didn't. I was like, right, cool, fuck it. Join, let's go. And I was like, you've been talking to two of your asses online, and I want a word. And they went, eh, eh, I took him out of the car park across the um, the bus station, <laughs> thinking neutral venue, nobody's going to know where we are. How fucking wrong was that? No, it was like basically going having them up against like that wall there, right? See within ten seconds. The, the live stream is full of, oh that's the bus station across the, that's the car park across the bus station. I'm sitting there like, hmm, right, brilliant, I've got this great security team news. And, every kind of tell me, every kind of tell me the location. I mean, everybody's saying where the location is. Of course, so I've got one of the worst beasts I've got. And the location's getting geared up live in Glasgow, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking, that's going to be fun, you know what I mean? So, we'll just try to hurry up an interview. We basically go the admission off him. We go the fear off him. But I wanted one mere thing after that man. And I wanted hope 
avanti ti chiedi a man ho e in snaccia ho pavetrim, no mi? Sa se ti ho messo, se vi 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 ti ho messo, i got to say, I'm going to post and I'll explain the exact way who I was. They said, we know who you are, and we understand what you're doing, we'll send two officers in it. Still, still, I'm brilliant, class acts. But um, within five minutes, two posts are there. So I run back up the stairs and I'm looking at John, and I'm just staring at his face, you know what I mean? I'm waiting in the post walking out, like, there's a door right beside us, right, and I'm waiting in the two poles walking that way. But I've seen him walking up the stairs, like, up like that. Um, I see him walking up there, and his face went pure white, and he looked devastated. And I knew, you know what I mean, I knew it was the poles coming down the stairs, and the poles coming down the stairs. And I like the um, Golden Crab Award, and I said, I need problem. So I went in and I had a word with the, the two boys out, out the way, like a car, car park, but um, he said, to us, Give us a quick look at the chat logs, gave me chat logs, I had a quick, quick flick through, and he went and flew and he put him under arrest. You know what I mean? So we went, we gave statements. It takes two hours, three hours sometimes to get statements. Sometimes it can take five, six hours. It's just if the polls want to be assholes. But um, we went and gave statements. And then it's been him. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry, guys, listen. I've got a bug and I just. I feel like pure shame, man. Can't, just cannot shake us. But, eh. Uh, When he came, and like on the team page, it was message after message after message, right? And it was all these lassies about John Argreaves, about wanting anal sex after him, messaging him, constant, like harassing him, you know what I mean? I uh, spoke to like a, two girlfriends of his, you know what I mean? Now this guy was married, this guy had everything, he had a fucking good job, he was married, he had, he's got two amazing sons who got amazing families that they brought up their cell. They've got good jobs and they, they stay outside the country and things like that, right? Um, this guy had everything, you know what I mean? Fucking everything, it just shows you that a beast is a beast, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what they've got or what power they've got, or what money they've got, a beast is a beast, and if they've got that beast in them, they're going to let it out. So, um, I'm going through it all, and I'm talking to all these women and all that about like, things that John's done and things like that. So, court, court date comes, um, please not guilty, so we all have to get evidence. The first decoy goes in, she gives evidence, and like, uh, she comes out, and the PF says to me, God, I'm listening, we're losing this case here. And I says, why? Like, how can we be losing this case? You know what I mean? It's fucking evidence there, black and white. And she went, just come in and be yourself. And I was like, very cool. I went in, and I just acted like myself, you know what I mean? I spoke the way I speak right now. The defence team tried to make me look like a unreliable witness, you know what I mean? Um, basically saying to me that I was like not a good character. So the guys had to pause out somebody who's walking down the stairs then. Right, so they were make me the said to us, I do have a good character, Mr. Buckin. And I went, No, I'm not a good character. Uh, in my lifetime, I've been a thief. In my lifetime, I've badly hurt people. In my lifetime, 
Apan mi tangi ma min ma min ay mes pi wo fucking mes claims rai ba the one thing to say is again we so um I can't remember where I was now, but um, the cardiologist checking and all the different levels. But uh, so the court case came in, I went in and I was basically made to look at an animal, but uh, the prosecuting team had said, Don't burn it, not me. I don't understand how you take money to support people, like trying to pedophiles have a pedophilia on them. That's something I've never understood. I understand the Scottish justice system, but if you know your guy is guilty, how can you defend a pedophile? No need to let him out in the street to defend other pedophile, right, to pedophile other people. But anyway, I went on and, like, I say, it's listen, I, I've done this, I've done that, I've done this, I've done that, but do you know what? I've never been a pedophile like your client. Your client is a pedophile and the judge didn't say nothing. So I was like, hey, cool. See, for that second onwards, he was pedophile. He was, he wasn't John Hargreaves, he was pedophile. I just, every, every time I addressed him, it was pedophile. And every time I, I had to turn to address him, I turned and I addressed him and I spat the word pedophile at him. You know what I mean? It's, it's somebody in the crowd room, I don't know who the, the, the woman in the crowd was, but you could see that she was like pure upset by it, you know what I mean? And I thought to myself, like, what a disgrace, imagine being here supporting that animal, you know what I mean? But he's probably lied to her, you know what I mean? He's probably, what, like, carried on that he's, like, fucking, somebody different, or, God knows, but somebody there pre like, protecting them anyway, like, greeting for them and all that shit. So, we were dismissed, and we got the good news a couple of weeks later that he'd been found guilty, and sentencing would take place, but then we got tell he got 18 months, 10 years sex offenders to register, and like, he had to commit classes after the, he had to do 18 months and then day classes to get out and he couldn't get into until he did any classes so that was a good result kind of for a first conviction you know what I mean I was expecting me to be honest with you I was expecting about three years between three and five I was expecting but 18 months was good enough for a, like a first one you know what I mean uh, I was fucking ecstatic to be honest with you See, knowing that I took that 13 on Safi Street. Because he's a sexual predator, you know what I mean? He's like, he's not just a pedophile, he's a, he's a sexual predator, a sexual deviant, you know what I mean? That's what I call him, a sexual deviant. He picks on the vulnerable to commit acts that other people won't, if you know what I mean. Um, He's out the jail with now. But the funny thing is, while he would have been doing his sentence, we would have had about six or seven in Berlin at that time on the sex offenders wing. So it was all probably sitting eating their dinners going, that ah, fucking wolf pack, that ah, fucking wolf pack, wait till I go to this jail, that ah, fucking wolf pack. Ah. I'm glad, I'm glad wolf pack was ringing fucking bells in there because do you know what? I want every single one of you cunts to know that, see, any time that you think you're talking to your own, you might be talking to one of yours, you might be talking to one of the fucking wolf pack, or you might be talking to one of the other teams that are now jumping about Scotland, right? And see, if you meet us, you're going to jail, you will go to prison, you know what I mean? And if you don't go to prison, right, that's even worse for you. See the ones that go to prison, they're the lucky ones. See the ones that don't go to prison, they think, oh, great, great escape. No, that's not the way it works. You're not out in the public eye. 
we've exposed to the public, right? And now you've got to live with watching a your shoulder. I mean, you've got to look at your shoulder every two minutes. You're not getting a job. You're getting sacked for the job that you had. I mean, you're never getting a girlfriend again. I mean, unless it's some sad, sad, sad lassie, you know what I mean? You're never getting nothing again, you know what I mean? It's a life of misery for you. The life of misery that you would have piled in fucking wains is you raped them. Because that's what it is. See, when you have sex with a minor, see, when you have sex with somebody that's 12 years old or 13 year old, it's fucking rape. That's what it is. Rape. Because there's no consent. A 12 year old can't consent. A 13 year old can't consent. A 14 year old can't consent. Right? You are a fucking rapist if you touch a wean. That's just the fucking bottom line in it. And that's what you're charged to as well. Right? So it's law that you're a rapist if you touch a wean. Right? But anyway, John. It was good to meet you that day, mate. It was good to meet you. And see the shit that's happened to you after, like, our meeting that day. It's made me smile. Right, it still makes me smile this day. I wear this mask, right, when I do these videos because I've had two threats to life warnings, right, and I've just bought the old Osmond warnings. I don't give a fuck. A paedophile approaches me in the street and he better be ready to die, you know what I mean? A paedophile comes to my door and he will die. End of story, you know what I mean? But I have got wings, you know what I mean? And, like, that is the, the only reason for the fucking mask, you know what I mean? But, I always make sure the paedophile sees my face, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to leave this video here because um, I've got a storm button up tomorrow. You know what I mean? Mr. Red or Bar. You know what I mean? But um, you remember Wolfpack, you know what I mean? Like, we've caught cunts that in our pole couldn't they catch. You know what I mean? We, we've caught people that in our pole were trying to catch. You know what I mean? We've caught them. You know what I mean? Like, we've caught all sorts, like, all sorts of people. I mean, the rich, the poor, everyone, I mean, we've caught them all. I've got some cracking stories. I'll be going on and showing that wood show, and believe me, that's going to be fucking fire, because I won't be holding anything back, you know what I mean? You want to know about my past, I'll tell you about my past, you know what I mean? You want to hear about other things, I'll tell you about the other fucking things, you know what I mean? Because, do you know what? I'm sick of holding it all back. You know what I mean? I'm sick of... I'm just sick to fucking death of the crown having such a heavy fucking boot on my shoulders, you know what I mean? Like... The shit is just... It's fucking ridiculous, you know what I mean? But anyway guys, thanks for following. And I see all you guys that followed me all the years. Thank you very much, it's deeply appreciated and you guys kept it all on. Trust me on that, right?